everyone how's it going my name is Errol E I am super excited today one I can't wait for my 4k wireless display um, adapter not monitor but adapter to come in so while we wait I was thinking well what do I'm using right now well I want to show everyone how you can take your Chromecast that you might have at home and you can wirelessly display your computer on that Chromecast and it's super easy and all you need is a browser so you could do this in Google Chrome but today I want to show you how you could do it in Microsoft Edge and full disclaimer I do work for Microsoft but I love technology as a whole all right so let's dive in all right welcome back so this is super super easy to set up now i'll tell you why this is so important have you ever wanted to maybe cast something that's on your computer to your television or you might be at a conference and you have a projector you wanted to cast something there and go wireless or you might have a projector in your house this is amazing so first thing is you will need your chromecast and whether it's on your monitor, back of a TV, on a projector, you would just need to plug it in to HDMI and USB right here. So a lot of the newer devices, you'll be able to plug in USB to HDMI, but if it does not have, let's say USB on the back of your monitor or your television, you can use a power brick, plug that and maybe find a wall outlet, maybe use an extension cord and you'll be able to still charge up your Chromecast that way. But if your stuff already has a USB, you'll be able to do that. So let's dive in and show you the steps you will need to take. All right, so I promise you this is super easy to do and once you have it set up, you're gonna love it. So first thing you wanna do is open up your browser and like I said before, you could use Google Chrome, but I'm gonna show you how to use it in the Microsoft Edge browser. All right, so I have my uh, browser open right here and all I have to do is click on the ellipses, the three dots here in the corner on the right. And what you wanna do is click on more tools and you should see the cast to media device. Now, if you don't see it, I wanna show you an ex, uh, ex blah, 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 an experiment that you can actually activate inside of your Edge browser. But be cautious. Uh, as it is experiment features but you can see right here I can go to edge colon whack whack flags and with flags you do get to experience different um, uh, experiment features I don't know why I can't say that word uh, experiment features and you will be able to uh, do a lot customize it but just be warned Okay, now that we've read that full disclaimer right there, all you have to do is like search for uh, hashtag load media router component extensions and you can change it from default to enabled. But I had mine enabled and I wanted to turn it on to default just for you to see that it is possible you can do this without uh, doing some Dexter's lab experiments right here. All right, so let's close out of these. All right, so when I click on my ellipses and I go to more tools, you can see I have the ability to cast to media. So when I click on cast to media devices, you see it's finding everything that I have with Google Chrome inside of my house. But what we wanna focus on 
is this one right here. So this is my office cast that I have in the office where I can just Chromecast it right to there. But we want to figure out what do I want to cast. So before you click on that, and you need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. I forgot to throw that out there. You want to be on the same Wi-Fi network with your Chromecast and your computer. And this also can work uh, with your phone as well. If you have an iPhone or a uh, Android. But we're going to go to sources right here. And you can see it gives me a few different things. I can cast to a tab, meaning it will cast just this tab right here in the browser. Or I can cast to desktop. Or I can cast a file to the Chromecast. So let's see, when I click on cast tab, let's see what it does on the screen. And now we're just going to click on office cast. And now it automatically connects that right there. And we are able to just scroll through and see what's going on. Now, if I want to stop casting, all I have to do is just click on stop casting and it will disconnect right there. Now, if we were to click on source and go to cast desktop, we can see that's going to cast my whole desktop. So we're just going to choose it right here. And I'm just going to hit share. And now automatically it casts my desktop right here that you can see too as well. Let's just bring that back up. All right. So we can see that it casts my desktop. Now, one thing I do want to call out, which I wish it had, but you cannot do duplicate or extend um, on here. You can only share your PC screen only. So you won't be able to like extend it out or anything. It is already duplicating it. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but you cannot extend. So with extend, you would normally have like two different things you can do. You won't be able to extend that. But you can see all the different things you can do. Now, if I wanted to cast a file, let's say maybe I had a local video on my device and I wanted to cast that as well. All I have to do is let's stop casting. And I'm going to just go to source. And I'm going to hit cast file. Now it's going to pull up a directory of different files right here. So I'm just going to select this video one and then choose office cast. And there it is right there on the computer. So we're able to see uh, that we are able to do a lot more things. And the great thing with that is you can also cast your um, audio as well. So when it moves over to your Chromecast, you cast the audio on there as well. So I hope everyone enjoyed this and learned how they're able to use Google Chromecast inside of Microsoft Edge too as well. If you would like to know any more tips and tricks, just leave your comments below. My name is Arrow E. Every moment with Arrow E. Always remember, tell a better story. All right. Peace.